Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about Outriders. Now specifically, I'm going to be talking about something that I think is not fair to Outriders itself. I know that's wild of me to say considering the last video was not that great on Outriders, but you got to understand that's more my personal taste. I'm not saying the game is bad, bad by any means. If anything, the environment, the world building, the enemy design themselves, the whole game looks fucking fantastic. Let me just say that right off the bat. I would play this game. I'm gonna play this game. It's just that personally, I don't think third person shooters really hold my attention for too long. And I don't know why, it's probably because first person shooters are just a lot more immersive in my opinion. But I'm still gonna play this. I'm still gonna enjoy the shit out of it because I grew up playing third person shooters. That's probably why I'm burnt out from them. But I grew up playing a lot of third person shooters. I obviously am coming from the PS3 to Xbox 360 era. And before you're like, oh, you're young. I'm actually, if I'm being technical, I grew up on the Nintendo home entertainment system, which essentially means the old NES. I'm old guys, I'm really old. So I remember PS3 and Xbox 360 era specifically. And the whole reason I say that is because this game looks like an evolution of those games. This looks great. The environment looks great. The fact that it's a looter shooter immediately has me a little more hooked than any other game, to be honest. Now I'm, I'm asking questions like, how is your loot system? Do you guys rank it from like white, blue? Yeah, white, blue, purple, then orange, which essentially is common, rare, legendary, and then exotic or what is it no yeah yeah well that's destiny standards do you guys rank it like that or do you rank it differently do you guys have more rankings like do you have other colors do you have other sub subclasses do you have or not subclasses do you have the other subtypes of loot like do we have armor do we have cosmetics there's just so much of this that i have so many questions and I know that we have uh, cosmetics because we could change our characters clothing we can change our tanks look i'm really excited for this for the sole reason that there's a lot of customizing it's a looter shooter and the third person element is like the last thing i'm excited for because obviously third person shooter is not my taste i would much rather a first person shooter but i do understand that doing the abilities for that would be kind of a bitch to be quite honest so there is my opinion on that now the whole reason why i wanted to make this video is because i don't think it's fair to compare this to destiny 2 because destiny 2 is a first person shooter first and foremost and it's wildly different from outriders if you wanted to compare this game and if you really wanted me to like compare it to something else i would compare it to anthem this game looks like it could live in an anthem world and i don't mean anything by that i don't tr i don't want to like downplay outriders saying that oh well you guys just look like anthem nothing like that it's just that's the first initial reaction i got from it now this game looks a lot more promising than anthem anthem just you know let's be real it fucking it, it got dicked down real hard uh hopefully this game doesn't do that i don't have expectations for it but i like the environment i like pretty much everything about the game aside from the third person element honestly so yeah if you guys want to like an actual comparison anthem is probably the best one when it comes to like environment and the fact that it's an actual third person shooter not like destiny like i said i don't understand the comparisons to destiny it's just weird like really weird i don't see it at all but that's just me and honestly i'm really excited for what the future holds for this game because if it is as crazy as i think it's gonna get then this is gonna be another borderlands 2 situation where yeah borderlands 2 ended with tiny tina's dlc if i remember correctly it ended with that one. Well, it didn't end because it got another DLC right at, right before Borderlands 3 came out. But you know what I mean. If it ends like that, then that's going to be pretty crazy because Borderlands 2 stopped being like a thing for a lot of people when Tiny Tina's DLC was finished. 
But the game had a huge cult following and it was still being played. Even to this day, it's still being played. So if it can even touch that kind of legacy, then this game's gonna be great. I really hope it does well because I am definitely gonna play this game. I know as much like shit as I was saying, like all oh, third person shooters are not my thing. Uh, all this other shit that I've been saying, I'm still gonna play the game because the game looks good. The world looks good. I'm more excited to like look into this world than actually play it. And I know that sounds weird, but I'm more invested into the story of the world. I wanna know more about the world because I think the world looks great. I think it's fucking cool. And I wanna know more of it. And then obviously from there, I think the game can hook me in the gameplay aspect if it could. Like, that's the thing. If it can hook me from, like, the story and the world building, gameplay can really come last if I, re if I really care that much about the story. But the game looks fun. Again, I've played a fuck ton of third-person shooters to know that this game looks fun. It looks like I'm not going to have too much trouble with it. So, yeah, let me know your opinion on it. I'm probably going to do a few other videos of this just like maybe show off the classes that are going to be coming out. I'm probably going to be talking about this game a little bit more, but just because I am curious about the game. And again, by no means am I saying this game is garbage or anything like that, just because I'm saying it's not my preference because it's not a first person shooter. If anything, that's probably a good thing because then I can probably experiment with third person shooters again. So, you know, I just want you, I just want to give you my completely honest reaction to what i thought about the game when i first saw it because when i first saw it i really just said this looks like anthem and i don't understand why people are saying this is destiny so yeah i'm not this was not a video to attack anyone it's just i don't know why people are comparing this to destiny 2 i don't see any anything that comes close to destiny 2 if anything i think this game goes a little harder than destiny 2 when it comes to its world building i think a lot of it's a lot more brutal and i like that so yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets links are in the description below thank you everyone for the constant support i really do appreciate it. if you want to see more outriders video or destiny 2 video or just insert video here let me know in the comments below be safe guys you guys know what's happening in the world other than that i will see you guys later